Today we will be reviewing how energy flows through a food web and how to solve questions regarding the classification of producers, consumers, and etc. To start, let's look at problem 10 of the 2019 5th grade science star, which covers a lot of key concepts regarding food webs in general. As you can see, there are the producers, which I'll highlight in green, and in this case, they are willows and spruces. And tip number one, producers are often plants. The rest of the organisms, such as the snowshoe hares, red foxes, and etc., meaning like everything else that doesn't that isn't a plant, are consumers. Now let's look at what the question itself is asking. I'll be highlighting important information in yellow. Which list contains only animals that receive energy directly from consumers? So the, ter the phrase receive energy directly from consumers means eat consumers. So only animals that eat other consumers are eligible to be the correct answer. So while you could just identify all the animals that fit the description of only eating consumers, at this point, it's a lot easier to just eliminate the primary consumers, which are the only animals that don't eat other consumers, and but they eat producers instead. I'll be highlighting those in yellow once again. So, we know snowshoe hares are primary consumers because they only eat producers willows and white spruces, and we know that caterpillars are primary consumers because they eat white spruces. Okay. Now let's just eliminate all the answers that include the primary consumers, snowshoe hares, and caterpillars, since those are the only animals that don't fit the description. So going from top to bottom, option F is wrong because it includes snowshoe hares. So I'll just like completely do that, get that out of the way. Option G is wrong because it only includes primary consumers, snowshoe hares, and caterpillars. Option H is wrong because it once again includes snowshoe hares, a primary consumer. But option J is correct because it only includes consumers that receive energy from other consumers, aka all animals that are not primary consumers, shrews and red foxes. If you want to double check, check the food web if red foxes and shrews prey upon producers such as the willows and white spruces and then check if they prey on other consumers. Since the red fox does not eat producers, but does eat snowshoe hares, shrews, and caterpillars, all of which are consumers, and since shrews do not eat any, eat any producers, but eat caterpillars, we know that option J is for sure correct. Okay, so that's a basic rundown of the food web and how to solve questions that ask to classify animals within a food web. I hope this video helped and have a great rest of your day.